this is why I'm here. Finally, some class and dignity brought to this, this, this garage. Is that what we're calling it? Is that what we're gonna... Oh, for the love of Oh, yeah, that man, that man's in fine condition. We are underway in this six-man contest. Team Wepa, which is Pinky Sanchez, Angel Ortiz, and the Caveman taking on the team led by Rowdy, highly entertaining wrestlers, allegedly. Drew Blood, Xavier Cross, and their mystery partner, Stan the Man Styles. Whoa! Liberty against my, my friend Loudy. I can hardly see what's going on with all these people on their feet. All three of hundred of them. I believe the caveman. Oh! Caveman died. Weba! Weba! Piggy with a suicide dive over the top rope. It's mayhem right now at the On Point Arena. Mayhem. We can't see anything. Fans are standing up. It's like the soup line in Manhattan. There's so many people standing. And I'll tell you what. Finally. We're gonna try to get these fans to sit down. We're blocking the monitors, we're blocking everything. This place is whipped up into a frenzy. I, they're an attacking my good friend Loudy. Poor Loudy out there just trying to do his job being attacked by these by these hooligans. When we apologize, fans, it's tough for us to see there's so many fans standing in front of us. But I see right now the caveman tagging in Pinky Sanchez. You know, it's kind of ironic they announced the caveman and half this arena tried to get into the ring. Would you please? You know, you know Loudy, Loudy brought me here. He's responsible why I'm here, the financial miracle. He was with me on the golf course course earlier today. We were we were going over our portfolios, our long-term portfolios. And I don't want to, you know, hijack the, the, the booth here, but you know, the man, the man heard me speak. The man, the man recognized my golden tone, my beautiful voice. And he he did what he had to do to get me here to call this action. So that's the story you guys are going with. I mean, right now we I mean right now we have people holding up signs in front of us, blocking our monitors. Finally, you know, there's a lot to be uh, questioned about uh, the relationship between Timothy Saint and Loudy, and uh, I don't want to really speculate on the extent of that relationship. Let's just put it like this: we're good friends. Yeah, good friends. That's what uh, Xavier Cross says about all those young men he hangs out with. You know, I never, I never thought I'd, uh, I'd experience what it's like to be in a mental institution, but I, I, I do know now, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's like a mental institution in Loudy's corner over there with all those weirdos. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Those are upstanding. Those are citizens of the future. Those, those men will pave the way for future generations. Yeah, future generations of. of uh, financial, uh, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Loudy, uh, Loudy showed me his long-term portfolio. That mean man's gonna be a multi-millionaire by the time he hits 40. If he isn't already. He's already 40, Timothy Saint. Hold on a second, that man, that man's 22 years old. I, I just went to his birthday party. Yeah, I, Loudy would never lie about his age or anything else. We know that, right? I believe everything that man says. Yeah, I bet you do. And you know, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not a, uh, I'm not convinced that you're not in Loudy's pocket. To be totally honest with you. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Me and Loudy go way back, way before this on point wrestling ever began. Me, uh, uh, Loudy and I, we were models together in Milan. 
We walked runways together. Models in Milan? Yes, we shared a loft. We were models in Milan. We used to walk the runways with for Tommy Hill. If you had said uh, models on my lawn, I might have uh, agreed with you. I don't think Rowdy's been to Milan uh, on the internet. To be honest with you, we spent, we spent a summer in Milan, a beautiful summer of 1998. A beautiful summer. We walked, we, we walked the runway for Dolce & Gabbana. Oh. Dolce & Gabbana, what? All the, fi all the finest designers. It was a wonderful, magical summer. We bonded. We yeah, became what brothers. What are you going to tell me next? Uh, that uh, you guys had uh, tea and crumpets with Donatello Versace? We, we, do, we, we had to do what it took over there. You know, modeling's a hard job. I modeled for many years. It's very hard. Well, let me hear, uh, now that we've heard that bacteria, so to speak, out of your mouth, why don't you tell me about your relationship with the very flamboyant Xavier Cross? Xavier Cross and I also go way back. He's a very good friend of mine. You know, we, crew, we cruise the, the, the more posh clubs looking for... Yeah, you call them posh clubs. Some would call them... Uh, Clubs of, uh, well, some would call them same-sex gathering spots. Now, you know, there happen to be a lot of people of the same gender, but, uh, you know, that we're all just, we're all just having a good time. And, uh, let me just spec, let me just, uh, point out, there's nothing wrong with that. However, uh, you know, all you, you know, you people, you don't understand what the fashion world's like. I mean, all, I mean, there's a lot of the same gender at your sports establishments watching your foosball and your baseball or whatever you play, whatever games you watch. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, men make the best friends. Xavier Cross, he was just red hot in there before taking out the Drew Blood. In fact, Xavier Cross was so hot that some might say he was flaming. Can you imagine putting your hands in this caveman's hair? The things that must be crawling and living oh, in this come man's on. name. Let me tell you something about the caveman. Uh, first of all, and I'd like to hear your take on this. I don't know if you know the story, but... Uh, Rowdy himself discovered the caveman in the uh, prehistoric ma uh, museum of uh, historic uh, creatures in Manhattan. He was supposed to be the third member of Team HEW tonight, but Team Weba, Pinky Sanchez, came and stole him. What do you think well, about that? Well, let me explain why that happened. You see, Cro Magnum Man has a medulla oblongata and an also an enlarged cranium capacity that doesn't house a large brain. Their brain, their brain capacity is very small. That, that of a, that. No, let me cut you off. Your brain capacity is very small, Timothy Saint. Hold on a second. That, that caveman has the brain capacity of an equi. And if, in case you don't know what that is, that's a horse. I apologize, folks. Here we go. Team Weapon, full control of this six-man contest. The funky monkey, Angel Ortiz, getting fans on their feet. Loudy's looking a little worried right now. Cloudy when he purchased those Gucci sunglasses for $595. You mean $5? The sicko? Ass to mouth. Elbow to face. And a big bulldog. And Drew Blood is in trouble. These two men, Sanchez and Drew Blood, they've been around the block quite a few times. Even here and on point. The third straight show in which they've tangled in some capacity. Right there, that was a neck breaker of death, as far as I'm concerned. Two. Loudy and I bought matching uh, pink pants at Neiman Marcus. That's a Neiman high, Marcus. That's a, that's a high end fashion store, just in case you didn't know. They don't have Neiman Marcus in Deptford Mall. No, I didn't notice one of those. Unfortunately, I had to go there today. Well, you know what? It was like a prison break. I'm not going to dignify that with the response, but Angel Ortiz in full control. Right now, Team Wepi has H.C. Dove right where they want him. Yeah, get him through. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm Can trying to try remember. To, you are a broadcast journalist, or at least you're supposed to be. I'd like to see a little uh, impartiality out of you. Ah, uh, Stan Styles shaking that rump, but I can tell how excited that made you. I can't wait to give Xavier Cross the, the beautiful scarf I bought him today at the mall. It's pink, in case you didn't know. Well, let me ask you, what does he give you in return? Uh, we, we have a mutual understanding. We're just friends. We yeah. I don't need, I don't need uh, him to give me well, Let me tell you something. Me and, the, me and the 300 people in this audience have a pretty mutual understanding of what's going on between you and Loudy. Loudy and I are, are, are friends. We hug. 
Occasionally, I'll give him a, 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 a congratulatory pat on the behind. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They got the shake weight. Oh, no. Sanchez shaking the shake. Oh, he's squirting oh, no. that substance. Hold on a second. And now he's, he's cheating. It. He's suckling right from the teeth. He's cheating. That's cheating. There's no cheat from the teeth. One, two, three.